So Vedel of Denmark in uh, lane four, but Warholm's gone off even quicker. Warholm running in lane six. He's up on Suwada and Kovaljuk, the two poles. And also in lane three, Altintas of Turkey has started well. Coming up to the 200 meter point. Right on the outside, you have Kovaljuk. Uh, Valholm and Vedel inside them and Altintas coming into the home straight now. We've got Vedel and Valholm, Valholm and Vedel going together and uh, being closed down by Altintas. Very close on the line indeed and I think Vedel just gets it ahead of Valholm with Altintas in third place. 46.49 shown on the clock. can come back and race in this championship in two years' time. So from the inside, Echeverry, Stuvenberg, Warholm, Corsa, Janoschik, Vedel, Chalmers, and Dushinsky. Those are the eight men in this, the men's 400 meters final. All eyes, though, on the Norwegian in lane four, Karsten Warholm. <laughs> Another away cleanly, and Vorholm already starting to motor, closing down on Corsa on his outside. He's up on the shoulder of Corsa after just 100 metres. Chalmers in lane eight, also running well at this stage, but it is Vorholm who's really striding out, really putting a lot of effort into the first half of his race. He does tend to throw it all on the track when he's taking a race seriously. And he's coming into the home straight, well in the lead. It's Janoszek come through with a strong second bend. Now Janoszek really starting to close him down. Janoszek is overtaking the tiring Warholm. Warholm, the tanks are empty. Janoszek takes the gold for Slovenia. And Vedel will get the bronze for Denmark. So 45-34. I just had a feeling that it was maybe too much of a stretch for Warholm to go for both distances. He's already had four races in his legs. Well, there was the feeling that an athlete of the quality of Janoszek, who set a Slovenian record last year, 45.07. And Janoszek just focusing on this race. No Slovenian relay team. And he's running a very measured race at this stage, Janoszek, while Warsham is tearing through the first 200 metres. No doubt who's in the lead, and Warsham has a metre lead off the final bend, but then over the final 50 metres, it's Janoszek really starting to eat up the ground on the very tired Warsham. Fedel edges through to take the bronze for Denmark. Might well be another personal best for Vedel. We'll confirm that in a moment, one way or the other. But goal for Slovenia. So first arise is for home. Violent also running well. Rand having a great race at this stage. Carolla not really showing at the moment. Well, Vorholm got nothing left to save his energy for. He can give it everything. Rand having a good run. So too Jacob Paul. I did suspect that he was running within himself, but it is Vorholm in the lead. Coming into hurdle number eight, Vorholm has got a clear lead. Brand in second. Violent has come through well. Jacob Paul in fourth at the moment. So Vorholm is on his way to redeeming himself after yesterday's 400 metre defeat. Second fastest time of his life, 48.35. That is a new championship record. Carsten Vahol, Norwegian, going in lane six. Remember, he's doubling up also at 400 metres. He's made that final as well. Pello, defending champion, going in lane four. 
Chali, Fernandez, Dobek, Capello, Megi, Vaholm, Vaillant, and Barr. Away they go. Farholm in the blue shorts and white top of Norway already making his ground up on Bayon outside in. Strong run by Capello though in lane four as well. Let's see as the match to choose between them over the hurdles. No. And uh, Varholm out in six, two lanes inside him. Capello's run really strongly and indeed may just have the edge. We'll see as they come round the bend. Also going well, Bayon and Barr on the outside lanes, but now Varholm coming in to the straight in the lead with Capello in second. These two going well clear of the rest of the field. Battle on for the bronze, it says behind them. Capello is very strong though. Can Varholm match him? Stride for stride there, but Varholm is coming through in the finish. And Varholm takes it with Capello in second place. Thomas Barr gets a brilliant bronze medal for Ireland just ahead of Ludby. Bayon for France, and the winning time there, 47.64 by Barholm. And if that's confirmed, just waiting for that, it is another 100th of a second off his Norwegian record. And I think it is, and Capello has also smashed the Turkish record there in second place with 47.81. Bar 48.31 in third. Well, what an absolutely terrific race. That was a real head-to-head -head duel from the gun. Both Varholm and Capello out very, very strongly over the first 200 metres. And at that point, it was quite clear that there was nobody else going to be in contention for the gold. Both men deservedly getting national records as a result of their efforts. And has to be said, a terrific run from Thomas Barr in third. Really, he's been on the cusp of a medal at a major championship for a long time finally rewarded for all his efforts and it's interesting i was talking to a lot of irish journalists over the last few days and he really is one of the main guys as you can see him there just overtaking the frenchman at that last hurdle and it's just got a little more left in the bank as he throws himself for the line throws his arms up as we see there the norwegian taking the european crown but it does really mean a lot to bar and ireland i can tell you that much This man is the very clear favourite. We've just seen the women's 400 metres, which turned out to be a very, very close affair. I wouldn't expect this one to be, at least for the gold. Can Husselos recapture the sort of form he showed last year? He's a fine runner at 200 metres and 400 metres. On your mark. As far home is a 400 metre, 400 metre hurdle. Doubleist. Hurdles indoors, of course, so flat racing for Varholm, quite happy to com come and compete at the European Indoor Championships. Some didn't do that, they're going to concentrate on the outdoor season. He reckons no problem in fitting in both. Bua, Saidi, Janiszek, Van Tiepen, Varholm, Husilos. Set. Yeah. Go, and the white there and the Norwegian colours. We've seen character to success by Jakob Ingebrigtsen and Barholm already eating up the stagger on Husilos and getting away from the rest of the field. Could be a parade for the Norwegian. He's coming across clearly to me. Husilos will follow into second place. And it's 21.35 with the 200 metre point. It's quick and Barholm is stretching. Husilos doing the best he can to hold him. Janusic is in third place, followed by the Spaniards. But it's Barholm all the way around this track. He's led from the gun, and Barholm comes to his expected trial in the 400 metres. He takes the gold medal. Who's the last at second? And the two men crash into the track in close proximity in bidding for that bronze medal. The Dutchman Van Diepen and the uh, Slovenian Janicek. And Barholm has again smashed his Norwegian record. It's a world leading performance. 45.05 because a very fine run by Husselos also in second place. So Barholm has uh, the European record has stood at 
45.05 to Thomas Schoenleber from way back in 1988. And we've now got confirmation that Warholm has equaled it for this time of 45.05. Yet another triumph for this brilliant young Norwegian. And this time it's 400 on the flat. Remember seeing him at the Junior Champions when he did the 400 under the Catholic in the <laughs> same day. Well, I thought it was going to be quick after that very, very fast first 200 metres, but 45.05, smashing the championship record, equaling the European record, which has stood all comers for a long, long time. That was a terrific race behind him as well, with Husilos and Van Dijkman both getting national records. Redemption to a certain degree for Oscar Husilas after being the first across the line at the World Indoor Championships last year when he did actually he was timed at under 45 yeah. seconds only to be disqualified goes away with the silver this time yes a tremendous improvement on what you've seen from him so far this year with that national record at 45.66 let's just look again here this triumph by Varholm he's got a what two three meter lead and he stretches away but Husserloff really fighting hard and look at the way Van Diepen comes up on the shoulder of the Slovenian who's got a meter and a half at this point but then they really come together almost at the finish and both crash across it but Varholm out front equaling the European record then Husserloff and then these men bite fighting for so for the bronze medal and crashing to the ground in so doing but it's the Dutchman Van Diepen who improves his national record and takes the bronze well after 49 years of Norway failing to get a gold medal they've had two now in just over half an hour and both sensational talents